City managers and sector experts across the world have worked hard to achieve effective urban sanitation, often with limited success. This is typically due to a set of enduring myths that we want to debunk here. Myth number one. Solving urban sanitation is all about toilets. In fact, providing access to a toilet, a latrine or a sewer connection is only part of the solution. The SDGs now require that human waste is conveyed, treated or disposed of safely and sustainably. The full sanitation service chain needs to be sustainably managed. Myth number two, people don't demand improvements in sanitation where it's deficient or absent. In fact, there is latent demand for sanitation services. What is sometimes true, however, is that low-income residents often feel unable to affect change and they're often reluctant to openly express their demands, especially when facing uninterested politicians, land tenure limitations and technical challenges. Myth number three, Poor people are not willing to pay for sanitation services. In fact, poor people are willing to pay for sanitation services, and they do, even when they receive substandard services. Often the only option is to resort to an unregulated private service to periodically empty their septic tank, whereas richer areas are connected to sewer systems with subsidized or free services. Myth number four, there isn't enough money to solve the urban sanitation problem. In fact, there are available resources, but they need to be better allocated and used more efficiently. In addition to increasing public budgets, commercial financing can be leveraged for investment opportunities, especially if public funds are used more strategically. Myth number five, investing in urban sanitation is not productive. In fact, sanitation investments provide demonstrated health economic, social, and environmental benefits that are essential to turn cities into vibrant economic centers. Myth number six. Conventional sewers and wastewater treatment are the only ways to solve the urban sanitation crisis. In fact, combining the use of on-site collection and fecal sludge treatment solutions with sewerage solutions has shown important progress. Adaptive, expandable, decentralized, and cost-effective approaches can be resilient to external shocks. Myth number seven. Sanitation produces waste that is a nuisance to be eliminated. In fact, human waste contains valuable nutrients. These can be recovered and reused as soil conditioner or fertilizer. Energy can be produced from both heat recovery and biogas combustion. Water can be recycled for industrial, agricultural, and even potable use. In summary, there is no silver bullet, no simple, single solution to urban sanitation challenges. We must develop locally relevant and innovative solutions along the sanitation service chain that put customers first and that focus as much on service management as on technology.